Hey friends, Tux here with a very special mail edition of Tux Toys. We got a box today from Super Impulse and this is a toy company. My dove is cooing with excitement in the background. This is a toy company that makes a cool variety of things including video games and all sorts of cool stuff. So we're gonna check this out together and um, just I am pumped. So uh, big kudos to Super Impulse, thank you. And let's go ahead and see what we have here in the box. And if you have any questions about finding them, please reach out to me, tuxtoys at gmail.com, okay? All right. Let's go ahead and see what we have. We'll open the box. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love Atari. And right off the bat here, I see something very cool here. This is a micro arcade machine, like a little mini arcade, micro arcade series one. So I guess this is going to be an ongoing series. And these are like, I love Atari games. Like Atari has such cool classic arcade games. And this one has two of my literal favorites, Centipede and Missile Command, two great games. And this is like a really nice small handheld device here. Um, very, very cool. As far as the, the cool look of it, check it out it's actually kind of uh transparent in nature which is excellent let's go ahead and you know what i'm gonna open this up i cannot resist i was gonna shoot a video and then shoot little videos but you know what guys i i literally cannot resist i love love atari and um just check out this cool thing here um very presentable great look you can hang in a retail store um on the back here we talk about the different games again each little mi micro console has two games and this particular one um you can see this is a miss missile command and centipede so very very cool works off usb very nice here does have a speaker on and off switch multi-dimensional d-pad full lcd screen power on and off buttons and there is a micro usb port there too so this is the smallest fully fullest functional pocket-sized arcade machine um and that is great and it's amazing like to, it blows my mind to think like back when i was a little kid i used to go to arcades and I'd play these games for like a quarter each. And now you can literally carry the actual arcade ROMs in your pocket. So let's go ahead and check this out. We'll go ahead and cut this open here and see what we have going on. I hate wrecking the retail packaging, but I just, I got to cut into this bad boy, man. Oh boy. We'll see what we have here. Clippy, clippy, clippy. Oops, there we go. And we'll pull out this thing. And this little bad boy is small, man. That's cool. You can actually take this on a trip without being inconvenienced with a big bulky handheld. Oops, there we go. Let me go ahead and pull out the cord. Let me just show you real quick. The cord is a micro USB. So this is your standard little micro USB. I'm sure you've seen that before. Okay. And there is a... Um, USB here on the end. Now, this is a super flat cable, which is actually to me like the higher quality choice of cables. Um, it can actually go around things. It's very small, very flat, very convenient. But the more important part here, of course, is the arcade game. And look how thin that is. Oh my gosh. That is like almost like a business card thin. So, so cool, man. Um, I love the fact it's clear. In fact, a lot of like game, you know, modifiers, tweakers, they'll actually like buy additional cases for Xbox and other systems so they can put it on this clear case but this comes with a clear case so you can see all the little resistors and transistors and all the good stuff in there so very cool now this may not have a charge like a lot of games when they come fresh from the arcade there is no charge but a few features are again d-pad um, very nice clickable buttons people like to hear the click of a button it sounds almost like a mechanical button so very very cool we have two buttons here on the side up here there is a speaker on and speaker off button. You can see it's very teeny, um, but it's right there for you. Very cool. Um, it's kind of hidden, so that way you're not gonna hit it in, you know, by accident as you have to slide this in your pocket. And again, this is so small, guys. This will definitely slide into that pocket so easily, which is great. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this on here. Loving the metallic paint here on the back. I, I gotta call that out. Very cool, like a sports car or something. So cool. All right, let's go ahead and turn this on. Oh my gosh, this looks absolutely beautiful. Look at that great screen. We'll go ahead and hit that. It looks like it does have a power saving feature, which is good too. And look, a bonus game, Pong. So that's cool. So we have Centipede, we have Missile Command, and we have Pong. So Pong is a classic. I mean, it's like how video games started was Pong. So very, very cool. Yeah, I might try Missile Command here. Missile Command's always been a favorite of mine. We'll check out the others too real quick. And you hear this, oh my God, this is the actual arcade ROM. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh my gosh, the idea of Missile Command is um, going around and zapping these missiles. You see, you can move this. This was originally a trackball game in the arcade, so it actually, oh my gosh, it's gonna get my missiles. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need to protect these cities. 
Oh no, no, stop missiles, stop. Um, so basically you go through wave after wave and you try and stop these missiles from destroying your little cities. So you're protecting the people, which is very cool. There we go, you can see it is kind of slapped up there and save the sea. Oh my gosh, there's more, there's more. Watch out for those missiles, please. Please, please, please. Oh, I'm out of defensive missiles. Uh oh, now I'm at the mercy of those missiles falling. Hopefully I have one city survive, let's see here. With any luck, hopefully I will. Oh my gosh. Yep, there we go. We. Oh my gosh. They just keep coming and coming. There we go. So we survived wave one with one little city left. So very, very cool. Um, the controls are great. This is actually, they have a good speed here on the cursor. So it's really easy to go ahead and control, which is nice. Okay, so here's Centipede for you. We'll go ahead and start this up. And of course, the mission of Centipede is to move your little cursor around here and you shoot these centipedes up. Oh my gosh, I've never been particularly good at centipede. There we go, we're gonna shoot that centipede. There's little mushrooms in your way, so you have to kind of protect yourself from the mushrooms. This is a really fun game, guys. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, those centipedes. And the amazing thing is, this is, this is the actual arcade ROMs. So this is what the actual arcade game looked like back in the day. It's hard to like shoot a video and play this seriously because it is a fun, challenging game. But um, God, like people know Centipede is definitely an arcade classic. So very, very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and pull out our second item from the Super Impulse Mystery Mailbox here. Let's check it out. And this is, oh my gosh, this is the Office Talking Keychain. And this is Dwight from the show. Office is a US show. I'm sure a lot of you probably have seen this or know about this. Um, it's a comedy, you should check it out. It's definitely on Amazon, it's very popular. And um, Dwight is kind of a kind of a, a little sneaky guy in the office, I guess. And this does have some different uh, voices. It looks like I can operate this and leave this in the package. So I'm gonna do that. Um, the packaging itself is really cool. You can go ahead and hang this. It features six phrases from the TV show. So very cool. This is part of the world's coolest keychain series. Try me the office talking keychain. On the back here it talks about it. it includes six phrases from the show. And we'll check those out by pressing the button and actually hearing them. Um, but very cool. And again, this is available from www.superimpulse.com. Okay, so be sure and check them out for amazing toys. Nothing stresses me out. <laughs> Babies are one of my many areas of expertise. Growing up, I performed my own circumcision. <laughs> wow, um, definitely a fan favorite from the show. This character is beloved by a lot of people. Okay, so very cool. Definitely a office collectible, um, something you should have for your, your collection. And definitely um, fun that it does those quotes. That is so cool. So anyway, again, superimpulse.com. Very cool. Um, again, the link for you right down below. So click that link, okay? All right. The dev says, what's next? What's next? All right, let's see what we have going on next. We have, let's see, I'm going to do this one next. And what is this? Oh, my gosh. I love these things. Oh, my gosh. This is a mini arcade. And this is actually a pinball machine. I've never had a mini arcade pinball machine before. So that is super cool. Look at that. It comes in great clear packaging. So you can kind of see what's going on. Kind of see all the angles of the pinball machine. So, so cool. Um, let's go ahead. and I'm not trying to open this up. Let's, let's see. It hangs on a little duet there. So very retail friendly. This may take a little bit of doing. Looks like there's a little tape here. Might need my scissors for this one. Let's see here. And there we go, guys. Let's go ahead and pull out this Turtles pinball machine. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am loving it. Like, this has, oh my God, listen. It's got music. Oh my God, that is so cool. Um, very, very awesome looking display to it. We have the turtles on the side, just like a real pinball machine. We have a speaker in the back. We do have a on and off here, so you can turn it on and off, which is very cool. More turtles over here. We have buttons for the flippers. You know, pinball machines, you push the little buttons to keep that ball rolling, so very cool. And up here, there is a button here to, to shoot the ball, so very cool. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna dim the lights. I'm gonna try and play a little turtles pinball. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so we have the lights dim, so you can see the cool LCD screen here. And it's not just one LCD screen, but you have two in this game, so very cool. Um, you can see down here is a playing field, and it's already talking up turtles, lo like lingo and language and stuff. Let's go ahead and play a game here. We'll pop the ball here. We're gonna push the, the little plunger here, okay? And you can check out, there goes the ball. I'm gonna hit the flippers over here to keep that ball in motion. Up, oh, there it goes, there it goes. Ooh! All right, got another one. 
no, I lost my ball. And it does have points and tells a score. We got some turtles action up here, just like the real arcade game. So very cool. Let me try one more ball here. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Got to keep that ball rolling. Keep it out of Shredder's territory. Oh my gosh, I lost it. Oh, very cool. Oh my gosh. Pizza time, pizza time turtles. All right, you know what, I'm gonna do one more. I, I can't resist here. Looks like it went into a little tube. There we go. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough. I almost got all of them. Whoa. Come on, turtles. Give me some of that turtle power. Oh my gosh, I lost it. Oh my God. Very, very, very fun. So you can see this is a really cool machine, guys. I like, you guys know I love mini arcade machines, mini pinball machines. So, so cool. I'm definitely digging that. It's a great scale to it. You could probably put like a little um, anime character or Figma or something here playing it. Um, just very, very cool. It has two screens, the original pinball machine sounds, the flippers feel good and responsive. So there's a button here. Like um, this is something which I could see myself playing <laughs> for a really long time. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. But again, we'll have a link for you right down below. So check it out. Okay, we got one item left. The big one here in the box. What is this crazy thing? Let's check it out together. Oh my gosh, this is a Rubik Cube. Oh my gosh, guys. I have to tell you a secret that as a child, like one Christmas, when Rubik Cubes came out, it was like all the rage and I wanted nothing more than a Rubik's Cube, and I got one. And it's a childhood memory, which I still hold to this day, and I still love the puzzle of Rubik's Cube. Uh, Rubik's Cube was originally made in 1974. I know this, because I love Rubik's Cube by a Hungarian, I hope I'm right here, a Hungarian sculptor, okay? And I forget his first name, but his last name was Rubik, okay? So it might have been like Emo Rubik or something. And um, just such a cool thing. And it's amazing that this puzzle, this puzzle has stayed with pop culture for so many years and um, this is definitely I guess a new take uh, six exciting electronic games featuring light speed and maybe this will teach me how to do the Rubik's Cube because although I've been a fan of the Rubik's Cube and I've had many many Rubik's Cubes I've never been super efficient like you see some of these guys who are really good they're like turn 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 and then they like do it and they're like whoa look it's done you know like I've never been able to do it as efficiently and I believe the secret has to do with the corners and lining the corners up and then the other parts kind of fall in place but I'm not an expert expert the Rubik Cube, although I am a super fan of Rubik. Like, God, I'm so happy to send me a Rubik Cube because right now I do not have one. So this is fantastic for me. And this looks like, again, like an awesome new take. Um, this is available again from Super Impulse, okay? So I will have a link for you down below. So be sure and click that link. Um, but this features um, six plus is each bracket, um, single and multiplayer games, multiplayer games on Rubik's Cube. Oh my gosh, fast and challenging action. Um, six electronic games featuring light speed on the back. Here, let's check it out. Rubik's Revolution, six games featuring quick <laughs> agility and quick thinking. Single player, multiplayer games, um, multi, uh, multi level characters, voice prompts. Wow, it would be great if it would teach me how to do Rubik's Cube. That'd be amazing. Uh, light prompts, sound effects, and LED lights, so very cool. Again, this features Light Speed, Light Speed Prime, Multiplayer Madness, Rapid Recall, Full Charge, and Sounds Out. So very cool, it looks like there is lights in here. I'm gonna go ahead, I, I gotta cut this open. I gotta get this thing open. All right, let's see what we have going on here. Hopefully, I hate to cut packages, um, retail packages, but I'm gonna have to here. So let me go ahead and kind of chop into this, cutting along that Super Impulse logo. Rubik's Cube is just so amazing, guys. Like, think of like the puzzle this guy created that has lasted all these years. And I mean, in all sorts of TV shows and movies, like Rubik's Cube has really stood the test of time as being a part of pop culture. And um, let me know in the comments. I'm curious if you know how to do the Rubik's Cube. I'd love to see down below if you can do it. Um, it looks like we do have some instructions here. So I'm gonna pull out the instruction packet and let me pull out the actual Rubik's Cube itself. Oh, there's like two things here. Wow, okay, let's see what we have here. Now Rubik's, again, there's all sorts of cool things. So I'm gonna show this real quick. So like the, looks like this is an advertisement for other products. Oh wow, like a Hot Wheels 
Teal thing, that's cool. Rubik's Teal, I heard of this game. I hear this is amazing. I'd love to review this down the road. All sorts of mini arcades. Wow, look at these mini arcades. Wow, oh my gosh, there's Tetris and Pac-Man. There's Centipede Missile Command, the one we opened. Uh, Space Invaders and Cubert. Um, looks like Combat and Millipede. Tempest, oh my gosh. Tempest is one of my favorite arcade games ever. Um, Rally X and Miss Pac-Man. Um, the Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail is amazing. In fact, there's been a resurgence of Oregon Trail because like, you can't go from one coast to the other without get, like, getting called or whatever. So um, very, very fun. Um, different pinball machines here. Check it out. Um, there's even like skeet ball, turtles, uh, whack-a-mole mini. Oh my gosh. You can have a whole mini arcade. That is so cool. Um, little tabletop guys. We have tabletop Pac-Man, little mini arcade machines. Oh my gosh, look at how many cute little arcade machines they have. This is amazing. Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man. We have Frogger. We have, uh, uh, what is it, Galaxian? Um, Dig Dug, Galaga, Space Invaders, Pole Position, Reliax, Tetris, Qbert, Burger Time, uh, Turtles, and Mappy. So some of these I've never seen before in mini form, like like Mappy and Qbert. I mean, a lot of these actually, so very cool. Um, and then we do have some Hot Wheels stuff here too. Um, you guys know I love Hot Wheels ID. Like I really, one of my top, my birthday's coming up in July. And I kid you not, like um, I like Hot Wheels ID. I would love to get some Hot Wheels ID. So I, I hope ID for, for my birthday coming up because those, it's just really fun. The cars are cool and the actual like phone app is cool too. But you guys know I do collect Hot Wheels. I do actually collect them a lot off camera. I probably should make some more Hot Wheels videos because um, I do have some more Hot Wheels. So so you can see they just have so many cool things. So that is really awesome. But oh, no more waiting, guys. I got to check this out. Okay, so it does come with a manual here and um, does have some different fe uh, features. Lights, if you have heard of this, actually, this is like a color chasing game, um, Pattern Panic. Um, that's almost like Simon, kind of like maybe. Um, uh, light speed trainer uh, sound out so there's lots of modes you can do multiplayer madness and full charge but tell you what just for the sake of this video I'm gonna try this um, the color chasing game which I think is cool it actually kind of teaches you a little bit about Ruby like this cube it doesn't spin it has lights it's almost more like Simon or something where you're, you're pressing light colors and you're trying to find lights so we're gonna turn this on oh my gosh it talks Press blue to play light speed Press yellow to play light speed trainer. Light speed trainer. Press red to play multiplayer madness. Multiplayer madness. Press green to play pattern panic. Pattern panic. Press orange to play sound out. Sound Press out. White to play full charge. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the color chasing one, and we'll see how we do. Um, I've heard of this, and I think. I think if I do like 20 or 25, I'll be doing pretty good, but let's find out how this goes. So basically what's gonna happen here is my press this to start the game and then it's gonna flash a color on one side. So the goal here is to like look for the color and press the button as quickly as you can. And it kind of trains your brain a little bit to like be like looking and turning. Like when you see guys who are really good at Rubik's Cube, you see them doing a lot of this like turning stuff like this real fast. And it kind of gets you in that mode a little bit. So anyway, let's see how I do here. We're gonna press blue to play. Light speed. light speed so I'm, I'm looking for the light and there's yellow um, I think yellow is a little bit harder because you can't really see it uh oh uh oh orange green let's see which one which one blue red now blue again blue twice that's weird okay orange oh the timer's going faster come on baby Oh my gosh. Oh no, where is it? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I did not do that good. Oh my gosh, I didn't get 20, okay. <laughs> this is fun, guys. If, if you get a chance, check this out, buy this, and see if you can beat my 16 on the first try. I'm sure I'm sure my score will get higher as I go faster and get better at it. Um, but I'd be curious what your first attempt as but it's great that has a bunch of different games you can play so very very cool okay i can't resist i want to do one more i'm gonna try the green game here and this is pattern panic and this is actually kind of like simon where it's gonna announce the color and you have to pick the colors in the right order so let's see how i do um simon's always been a fun game for me but i'm not been the best at it but let's see what happens here so we hit green pattern panic orange five four Orange, blue, green, five. Five, four, 
green. Orange, blue, green, yellow, fire. Orange, blue, green, yellow, white, fire. 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 Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, yeah, so um, that's a challenge. It's. I think it's even a little more challenging than Simon because you actually have to like move the thing. Simon, you can see the colors. This one you have to, to turn. So as you're turning, you're thinking and turning, and it actually is very challenging. But this, this, my friends, is super duper fun. Um, highly recommended. Rubik's Revolution again from Super Impulse, and I will have a link for you right down below. So click that link. Okay, to recap, the super, super cool box for my friends at Super Impulse. Again, there'll be a link for you for Super Impulse right below. So be sure and click that link. To recap, we got some awesome stuff. We have this super fun world's coolest keychain with the office talking keychain. A lot of fun. Uh, picture from the show, actual quotes. We'll hit one here. Concentration, I can raise and lower my cholesterol. <laughs> craziness man uh very cool for someone who's into the show maybe might make a really good gift for somebody too you know for your turtle fan in your life or yourself like me man who could just collect mini arcade collectibles um really fun pinball machine i don't have any small pinball machines so two lcd screens authentic arcade lights and sound a lot of fun great form factor Kawabunga, very cool. We have the mini uh, arcade machine here. This is like a, like a business card with Missile Command and Centipede and a bonus game, a bonus game of Pong. And this is so small, it will just slide into your pocket. Great, clear, techy looking front. Awesome metallic colored back. Again, just so, so cool. Um, you can collect these with different machines. And again, authentic arcade sounds, lights, games. Very, very cool stuff. Missile Command is one of my all time favorite so very cool tempest i'd love to get tempest to this sometime down the road and then finally guys rubik's cube again classic ip super cool in pop culture and this is something new this is rubik's revenge this is an electronic game which has six different modes lots of fun color hitting memory type games that gets you in the th thought process of spinning and clicking and matching colors and just very very cool and um just a really good time so all these things would be a great gift for you or for someone else if i had to pick a favorite man it's tough it's super tough like i love I love pinball, and of course I love this, but you know, I'm gonna have to go with this bad boy because Rubik's Cube has been a part of my life for a long time. And you guys know I love video games and TV stuff. So like this is, this th this thought process does not come lightly, but Rubik's Cube honestly has been a big part of my life. I love Rubik's Cube so much. And just the history, the fact this has been around for, for since 1974, the sculptor made the first Rubik's Cube. Um, just amazing how this has stuck around. And this is something which um, I hope people pass along to their kids and their grandkids and everything because Rubik's Cube it's such a good time it's, it really is an awesome use of memory and um, just really really cool so anyway something new Rubik's Revenge so this is my top pick Rubik's Revenge but they're all super cool guys let me know what's your favorite down below let me know if you can solve the Rubik's Cube down below I'm curious and also I want to thank you very much for watching again there will be a giveaway coming up down the road so be sure and say enter me or enter me senpai to your name in the hat for a future Tux Toys giveaway okay um, um, again, the link's down below, guys. Any questions, reach out to me, tuxtoys at gmail.com. But I want to thank you for watching. And I'm going to go play some games here now. So I uh, will talk to you soon, friends. Bye-bye.